Hello artist! This short tutorial is going to show you how to save an Audacity project file. Now saving Audacity project files are very easy, but there are a couple of small tips I want to, sh I want to share with you that will help you from corrupting any of your Audacity project files. So let's start. First of all, you see that I have some sound here. I have a two track recording that's ready to be saved. Now before I actually save it, I want to tell you a little bit about an Audacity project file. Audacity project files are files that we use as we're continuing to work on a project. Because with an Audacity project file, I can come back the next day and start where I left off. And what I mean by that is that if I make changes, like I move a track here, or I change a track, or I change a slider setting, gain, or my pan, I can change these things around, Audacity will remember those changes, and I'll be able to uh, come back tomorrow and change them again. If I was to export this project as an MP3 or a WAV file or, or many other types of other audio files, I can't go back and make those changes. They're locked in. So, as you continue to work on a project, you need to save it as a project file. All right, here's how we do it. This is easy. You go up to File and you go down to Save Project. Now, let's give this a name. I'm going to call this Andrew for me. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. And when I click Save, it creates two files. Let me just show you these files. It created two different things for me. It created one file and one folder. Now it created a file called Andrew.aup. Now .aup is an Audacity project file. And it also gave me a folder called Andrew underscore data. Very important, very important that we never separate these two items. We can never put the AUP file in one folder and the data folder somewhere else. Mm -mm, it won't work. It will corrupt it and it, you'll lose your information. So you need to make sure that you always keep these files together. Also, many times people try to send other people through email or wherever uh, AUP files. You can't. You can't send somebody an AUP file unless you include the data folder. Okay? But if you are going to send something to somebody, like a piece of music or a piece of sound you've worked on, there are other ways to do it. You need to learn to export as audio files like MP3 or WAV. And I'll show you that in another tutorial. But what I want you to know for sure is that you never ever separate the data folder and the AUP file or you will corrupt your, your project. So there you go. That's it for saving projects. It's pretty easy stuff. But be sure to check out another tutorial that will show you how to export as audio files.